Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yangeni Saidi, and I am the head of house of No House, the founding house of St. Albans College of the 2018 academic year. This house was founded in 1963, and I'll be taking you through everything, every little brick and every little stone of No House. Please follow me. I'll be taking you into the common room. <laughs> this is the No House common room where a lot of the boys spend a lot of our time. Behind me, we have the foosball table and the table tennis table. And in front of that, we have the matric couches flanked by the Form 4 and the Form 3 couches. Behind you, we have the head of house boards and the honors board. And in the middle of that, we have our TV. On Saturday and Sunday, we like to watch a few soccer games or a few rugby games together as a house. And I'll take you through to the rest of the house. Right over here, we have our house sigil. We have two lines in the middle, a shield. And our house motto, our strength is in our pride. <clears throat> Behind me, we have our house master's quarters. Now, that means that us, a person of staff is always on this campus at all times and can assist the boys whenever they need. On my, on my left, we have a few metric rooms, and of course, our sports kit stays here. I'll be taking you through to the metric lounge. So this is where a lot of the metrics spend our time. During break, we can come here and leave our bags, leave our laptops. It's a safe place for us to, to sit and enjoy ourselves. We have these couches, and of course, we have a TV, and we can sometimes play PlayStation when we're not too busy. Who's playing right now? Oh, it happens to be Australia. A bit of cricket. Lovely for the boys to watch during the day. I'll be taking you up to the rest of the house. First, I'll take you to the Form 1 dormitory and explain a little bit of history and tradition that comes with being in Grade 8. This is the Grade 8 dormitory. Right here, we have the shoe rack. It's a common tradition in Norhouse that states that if you're in grade eight, you cannot wear your shoes in the dormitory. It builds discipline within the boys and it's a tradition that I fully support. This is a very good example of a grade eight's room generally. We have his bag on his bed after he comes back from class and everything in order within his cupboard. Now in grade eight, there's two people in a room and this happens from grade eight, grade nine, and grade 10. In grade 11 and 12, you will normally get a single room if you're a good achiever and a good student. I'll take you through to the rest of the house. First, I'll take you to the landing and show you our communal areas. This is the landing. Clearly you can see there are couches because it's basically the center of the house and allows us to come together as a house from every different dorm. Here we have a few more matric rooms and a few computers to, to be used by the boys. And if you come through, I'll show you our kitchen. This is the house kitchen. On my right, we have three microwaves that the boys can use at any time, an ice machine for those hot days, and a boiler for those cold days. And of course, a sink to wash all our dishes. In essence, this is the most communal area within the house. So now I'll be taking you up to the Form 2 dormitory and the Form 3 dormitory, just upstairs. On my left is the Form 2 dormitory, and behind me, just above my head, is the No House Bow. Now this bow is basically for all first team players. When you play your first game for first team, you have the right to ring this bow. Right now, we are in the matric wing. This is, of course, a matric bathroom that matric boys are allowed to use at any time. And now I'll take you through to a matric, a matric room. This is a good example of what a matric room should look like. His bag on his bed after he's come back from school, his blazer and his jersey waiting on his chairs. 
This is basically the size of a matric room and what a matric boy can expect in St Albans College. I'll now take you to the landing to finish off. I'd like to thank you for joining us today on this tour. I hope you have had a really amazing time learning through Know House. Yes.